Hi, this is Katie Johnson, and this is going to be a video that's a product review of the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set and its matching Builder Punch. There are a lot of things that you can do with this stamp set. I'm going to show you the stamp set, I'm going to show you why I like the stamp set, and then I'm going to show you a bunch of um, samples, including the ones that you see behind me on the rack. So here is the stamp set. I'm going to point out several things about the stamp set, but let's start by taking a look at the sentiments. There are a lot of sentiments to start with, and there's a huge variety to them. All right, now we can see these sentiments up close. I do like the variety of sentiments in this stamp set. It has the happy birthday. It also has a hello, because many times you're not looking for any specific occasion. You just want to say hello to someone with the card. It does have the get well sentiment, which is nice. Many stamp sets don't have a get well unless they are a specifically health related stamp set. And so it's nice to have that uh, get well option here. In addition to these three most common reasons that people send a card, we also have two holidays. We have Happy Mother's Day and we have an Easter sentiment. Happy Easter, Happy Spring, Happy Happy Everything. In addition to those, we also have a sympathy. May the memories of yesterday comfort you today. And then this one could actually go a couple of different ways. What a beautiful difference a single life makes that can be paired together for a sentiment on a sympathy card. But this one is also good if you were doing a thank you card and wanted to express gratitude for someone who made a beautiful difference in your life. All right, let's take a look at the image stamps. All right, these image stamps down here, this is what Stampin' Up! calls distinctive, with the INK capitalized and underlined in the word distinctive. And what that means is that when you ink these up, you are going to get more than just the lines, and you're not going to get a big, solid, one-color image. You're going to get a lot of variety in the image. Let me show you what that means. So you're going to get something like this, where you can see that it's more than the lines, and there's lots of color in there, but it's not a solid block of color. All right, the other reason that I like this is because look at the huge variety of different stamps that you get. You've got three different leaves, three flowers, and two stems, which gives you a lot of options for putting together scenes. And I do have a two, uh, three stacks of cards that I'm going to show you of samples, but I want to go back to the stamp set and talk about two interesting ways to use it. So here is this distinctive coloring where it was put into four different color ink pads. But look at something else that you can do. You can use sponges or markers and come in and apply more than one color to an image. So look how natural that looks. Isn't that pretty when you add several different colors at one time to it? So you can do some beautiful artistic two-tone stamping with this stamp set. And let me show you something interesting about the leaf. Now there are three different leaves in there, and if you look at the stamp set, here are the three different leaves. There's nothing in that stamp set that looks like that, but here's where you can play around with the stamp set a little bit. I'm going to actually show you how this was done, but it was the leaf stamped twice. So you can see how the leaf itself is a small leaf, but if you take the right hand edge of the leaf here and apply it to the left hand edge of the stamped image on the bottom, you can get this extended leaf look. Let me show you. So now you have something that could be much longer leaves on the tulip. You could also start pairing this stamp set with other things that you have and maybe put together something that would represent an underwater scene and this could be kelp growing in a, in a fishbowl or um, in an ocean scene. Now before I show you the stacks of cards, because I do have a whole bunch of cards, I didn't count them but there's a lot here. Before I show you the cards, let me point out one more thing. There is a builder punch that goes with this. So here's the Builder Punch that goes along with this stamp set. And I get it that my lighting right now is not the best, so I've got the pieces of paper already punched out and just sitting on top of the punch so that you can see them. This punch 
cuts two things at one time. It cuts this flower, the largest of the three, and then it cuts this leaf shape, which is interesting because when you see the samples, you'll see this punched shape used in two different ways. The versatility of that is that it can be used either as a leaf on the stem or it fits the curve of this flower just perfectly so that it can actually layer on the flower itself. See how that goes together? And bringing in a dark surface so that it looks a little bit easier to see against that dark. So the curvature of that, um, what I'm calling a leaf, that second smaller punched shape, perfectly matches the flower. It can be used for layering the flower. It could also be used to sit further down on a stem and be a leaf. And it could be with a fat part going up to thin, or it could be with a thin part going up to flat. Fat. So you've actually got quite a bit of playing around that you could do with it. Anybody else see a cat when you look at that? When I show you my samples, I'm going to show you some punch art things, too. All right, so let's look at some samples. This is a vertical card. Here is one that's a horizontal card. The two of them are very similar, but both of them have built up a scene by putting multiple flowers and multiple leaves together. And just look how pretty that is with a, a variety of spring bright colors and this distinctive stamping that you see in the in the imagery. And I did go ahead and make these leaves longer leaves, and here it's just the small ones sticking up. This one, again, features the two leaves together and just is a real pretty card made with two of the flowers, the larger flower and the middle-sized flower. And here is a very similar card. It's just that these were stamped in a single tone and then these were that two-tone stamping where I came back in and sponged on some pink to get the yellow and pink together on that flower. You can also get a little bit whimsical with what you do. Those stems, because it's a photopolymer stamp set, you can actually bend them on a large block. So that's how I got the curvature here. This is similar to what I did here. This one I sponged two different colors on. And here what I did was I inked it up in green and then came back and wiped off some of the green and added red on the end to get that mouth. What is this from? Little House of Horrors, maybe? The man-eating plant. This one is made just with the punch, and you can see that that punch punches out the leaf, but if you punch it out in the flower color, it can also add layers to the flower. So now, instead of the flower just having the three different projections, it's got five projections up there. This is, so this is just stamped on the background. This one is stamped on a separate piece of paper and then punched out and added to it. And then uh, blinged it up a little bit here with a ribbon. All right, let's take a look at another pile. Actually, I lied. I've got four piles here to show you. So here are, is a little grouping again. I love this set and how you can put it together and make little, little groupings out of it. This is more bright colors, and then this is more um, in terms of pastels. Here it is in purples, a little bit of string on the side. This one is stamped on other paper and then punched out and layered on here. Same thing with this one and then sponged a little bit of green in the bottom corner just to kind of add a, a in-depth foliage look to it. These have the leaves going up out of the top. It's kind of like a vase, so maybe you're thinking about stems down here. This one is out of designer paper, and again, you can see how it was punched, the flower itself, and then it's got the um, extra leaf punched out, but layered on the flower to really give some depth to the flower on that card. All right, for this third pile out of four, on this one, what I did was I took a piece of paper and cut a hole and then laid it on top and then I sponged the blue through the hole and then stamped the flowers on top of that sponging. So this one with kind of darks, the blacks and blues, this one was a sympathy card. And this one, you see the edge on it? 
So for this one, what I did was I took the piece of paper and cut off part of it. And then I took another piece of paper and I just fussy cut with the scissors. After I stamped, I fussy cut with the scissors. So this is a strip here. You can see that where my thumb is underneath there. This is a separate strip that was just glued to the card base. And for that strip, I sponged the green up to the bright, bright uh, orange, whatever that is, reddish, and then lighter, and then lighter green down to darker green. Stamped the stems, stamped the leaves, stamped the flowers, and then with the scissors, I carefully cut along. This one looks very plain compared to some of the ones I've just shown you, but I want to compare that with the one right next to it. So for this one, it's just the flat flower. My finger's running right across there. On this one, can you see the layers on this one on the left? So how I made that was I stamped the flower once, stamped it again on a second piece of paper, and then cut out that middle part of it. So now I have something to layer on top that has the full effect, visual effect of the stamping for how these two things overlap. This one, see how you can build a scene with this thing? So there's a whole layer of them stamped behind. And then these three, these two and this one here, were all stamped on a separate piece and layered with dimensionals underneath them and stuck into, and then this was a uh, soft suede here and it ran through, ran it through a basket weave embossing folder so that it looks like a little basket. All right, I said this was fun to do punch art with. Well, none of those are punch art. These are all just artistic things with the flowers. So let's talk a little bit of punch art. Now I'm filming this in March and of course uh, we have, uh, St. Patrick's Day in March. So here's a little leprechaun. And what you see here, this mustache is made out of the leaf punch. And then there's just other punches, circles and ovals. This is one of our label punches that I just uh, cut in half to make a hat out of it. So who else would have a mustache? Maybe a dad for Father's Day, uh, maybe a gnome, or maybe Santa Claus. So same thing, the mustache on the Santa Claus is the leaf from the builder, uh, the tulip punch. You can take those tulips and when they're poking up like that, they look like a flower, but if you put them down, they could be a ghost. Or they could be the game pieces in Pac-Man. Or they could be little aliens. Now these feet here and the antenna and the eyebrows. This is from another punch that Stampin' Up! has. That's from the snowman punch. These are the arms of the snowman and that is supposed to be the nose of the snowman, the eyebrows. You can put them all together and be really creative with something. So the leaf is the tail and the arms. Her shoulders are that curvature of the leaf and then the I've got three of these red up here for her hair. Isn't that cute? There's just so much stuff you can do. And I mentioned a cat. I haven't even made a card with a cat, but as I was laying it out for the cat, then I started to think, what if what if I cut this off and put things together like that? Could I make a scene with like a water lily? So punch art is so much fun, as well as putting together scenes and being playful with your stamps, using them in more than just the obvious way. This truly has been one of my favorite stamp sets to play with, and if you are interested in purchasing the stamp set or the punch or the two of them together, I will put links in the description above. Thanks for watching. This is the Timeless Tulips stamp set and the Tulip Builder Punch.